Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to our final series of the night here, at least for the Storm. He's going to lead the, uh, the pack here with Shanks and Chris right behind him. So perhaps a slow start. They are actually going to find one in the back. Ooh. Stuns are out as well, but jabs. He's going to be able to turn around now with his team. Three man Mega Blast is going to come out from Oli, and CML is the one to go down as Oli does secure. Shanks is looking to be next. Beth is very low. That'll be another. Oh, oh. Dino, though, is getting so much damage on the Timbersaw with his willing death. But can he get some more kills? The answer is no. It's a 4 5 oh my engagement. God. The four heroes are already gone. <laughs> Four heroes and execration are just dead. Ollie with a triple kill on the partner. They want more. They want more. They want Chris's life. Oh, down the line ball. I mean, Q, if he gets mana drain, that tree sucks. Dabs. Oh. Oh. He's actually going to skewer off here onto the Lena, but instead does fight onto CML. Drags him back towards the Lotus Pool, of all things. Uh, CML still alive for now, though Japs will be able to reach him. You've got the level 3 time walk ready on Savage. He's got a lot of saving on himself. Hard to hard to pin down. Bob! Should be okay with the orb. He's going towards the south and does manage to pick himself up an arcade. Eventually, that is. CML gonna land a nice double stun on. Ooh. But Bob is just gonna get annihilated by Armel. The side blades into the double kill. And now, well, that's a triple. That is a triple kill coming up for the TA. Finding some source of farm coming in. The real thing hurting is mm. mid as Tino's getting jumped. Yeah, he certainly is. Chrono committed. Hughes got the chance to play with and Tino just gets absolutely an annihilated down at the bottom lane. Meanwhile, top side Aurora for that plus Ooh. one. Krish has found it with the RP committal into the skewer. Krish is as good as dead. Armel will take his fourth kill of the game. Smoke out from Execration. And see jabs. New jabs. Board. The follow up stun here from CML, though Jabs is still alive, even requiring Bob to move in to secure the kill. They don't even have the level 6s up in the support. That's the one thing that really hurts Excellent. compared to Q and Ollie. Just not even having a finger in this fight's painful. So again, Rito was up to 3. Bob, now he's trying to get some damage off onto Ollie with CML jumping in as well, but look at the damage from Armel! It's a one for one for now at the very least. In fact, Aurora may have got a bit too far. They will pay once again with Q going down. Now, even Armel into the chunk room of Tino. Definitely looking pretty, pretty dead. The finger does come out, they will secure. Tier one, tier two bot, spotting out Krish. And they are still looking up for this fight, though. Yeah, I see it all. Oh, no, right onto Krish, but he's been stunned up. He could be in a bit of danger. Still Krish trying to walk away as Armel trying to finish the job off but can't quite do it. Needs to back his way out down to TA. CML may drop and does. Still they are trying to chip away at Armel as Tino now. Never mind Tino has been left behind. Tino will die. Armel will survive. They've got one way to get instant control out but they're stuck in a really dark star. Chrono available and he'll pop it immediately. Mining two. They've taken down Shanks, the easier target. They know they've got Krish as well. Krish, he'll wait me them up, trying his best to get away, but there's just no chance. Look at Aurora. They're not letting go of this position. They can control of that triangle. Bob, CML? He can fight for this. Let's try with the ring call out. Shanks, he looks like Shanks, son, and I'm on to Ollie, so he's going to the punch of my dime. The final one problem is Bob's going to die as well. Armel just takes him out of the puck. That's not the trade you were looking for now. So you can just keep going at it. There's not really much in the way of stopping. You do this for free for quite a while. Krish now going to move Tino in. Let's fight the Arkham Lake the lockdown to TA, but the Chrono has been committed. Got Bob with that one. Shanks will drop first, but Bob will mostly follow. And Tino, he's not going to be too far off either. The RP's perfect. Jab will find the last three of them. Krish is the last piece of the puzzle. And he is as good as God. Aurora just completely wiping the floor with execration. Sadly, they can only find one lane of power. BKB is already being up and running on Aurora. Smokey from execration. It almost feels like they already know. They'll try to Armel. Armel still has the Aegis up, and he just blows up Shanks. Where's the damage? Where's the control? Not even one life gone yet. Execration and boss too. 
Oh. Looks like uh, catching a couple more now that just the cleanup is out. Double kill for Armel. Maybe a triple, and it will be. GG is called. This is what I'm saying, oh, Johnny. Boy. You give Armel a hero like TA, he'll just finish the game and win it. And he will, and that he does in this case. Straight into the draft here for game number two between Execration and Aurora. Yeah, good jabs. He can spot it out, Tino. Land with the shockwave in with the mine. Jabs, oh, he's gonna cop the net as well. It looks like he's probably as good as dead. They will completely body block him up. And this time, first blood will be drawn by the side of execration. CML <laughs> take the kill. <laughs> what is with these plus fives? Fusal will be really detrimental to Pango's impact. Did pick off Savage. Nice skill from Tino to secure the kill, although he comes to rotation to Q. Trying to find Shanks for the trouble. Now being disarmed for Tino. He's gonna take a second kill on the bag. Get that opening they want onto Savage. With all these removed in the equation, it becomes pretty hard for Savage to play that lane. Even down Vaughn managed to jump down jabs. Chris is gonna move in and just clear these up. The axes are gonna come in to scout this out, but Chris is just being an absolute nuisance now. Ollie's forced to rotate. Chris is still trying to go for this. Earth's might will fly out onto one of the Meepos. Chase is now on. They'll get a hex out, but see is just blocking the way in that bridge. Is not making it very easy to catch the Meepo. Chris will get one out of there, and it looks like he's just fine. Oh, no, Armel. Armel's gonna zip in, but he's out of mana. Oh, they get him anyway. Able them to finally clean up. And that's a pretty big first kill for Aura. Slowing down the Meepo just a tad bit. RC moving mid onto Savage. So trying. The smart is Savage dropping lower and lower. Needs to the tower but cannot survive. Excuse me, rather, Aurora not having a very good time. Armel. Being targeted now. Bob. Gonna go for another rolling thunder. This time onto Ollie, it seems. Poor old Ollie doesn't really have too much gameplay out of this, but luckily Armel saved the day for it. Aurora Vortex back in on the Shanks, but the Techies might go down and does. Aurora finally looking to fight back as a unit. We'll run towards CML now, but CML will be on the team for his diver. Bot lane for Krish is just free farm. With no and the build up is still there. RP. Top lane. They've got the Slark again. Nets to fly Ooh. out, though Savage does get Shadow Dance off. Time. Does he have a way out of this without power? I don't believe so. The TPs are coming, but it's just so late. It took such a long time to respond to this. He would at least take down Tino, and in fact, they might even fight Krishna on the Vortex is out of Marmel. He's still just trying to poop away. Oh, he's there with the Hex out, and Krish is gone. They are punishing successfully. But how much That's more right. can they get? They'll find the egg. Oh. Execration handing so many kills back the way of Aurora. But they might lose Q, and they will. You have to play with these tools. You cannot allow Aurora with a slower tempo that they love. Shanks, Armel, for a quick pick off. The Tino's now going to show up with an Orchid and Armel. Suddenly it's all a danger. We'll get our feet up, and it was all a fate. Armel will pay for it with his life. Savage is around the corner. If you... He's going to be very careful not to get silenced here by Tino. They saw him. We'll go for the Blink Orchid. Initiation onto Savage. And... Oh, can he actually get away? Savage barely able to get Shadow Dance off in time. Bob is still in the chase. Meanwhile, to Vortex oh. out there, found themselves CML. They do get themselves a Phoenix. Meanwhile, Savage has still juked them out quite nicely and will turn around and look for the counter initiation. <laughs> Who can they find though? Zip forward. Shanks will be the target for now. Orchid out once again onto the Storm. They'll just hide it now for now, Aurora. For the perfect opportunity. Meanwhile, Krish does get an a the Agon Intercept drop on the Meepo, but he does not want to fight. He does want to back his way out, so he may have no choice but to fight as one of the Meepos is hurting. He's falling quite low. He'll go for the Mega Move with Thorn, though. So on to Bob now. The, the Pango! Bob! Oh, oh, he's just feeding his life away to Savage. Krish, on the other hand, though, they will have the Aegis to come up. So Krish will probably just be taking the Meepo. Head up Jackson north, see if he can get away from this scenario. And Chase is still on. I believe mean, Shanks has seen him, and so has Pink. He finds himself a boost master on top of the age being taken. Meanwhile, top lane, there is a bit of an attempt onto Krish, perhaps, but Aurora, they're not going to take it. And the position of the primary Nico. With Armel. Armel's here now. He's certainly got a lot more damage available, as well as control, and Krish. 
So that's going to be the A just going down. At least they can't get into the second. Going to be very sneaky here from Aurora. Zecration setting up nicely already. Not to break the smoke and just swash away. Still Armel is going to jump in onto the Pengali, but he's going to be fine for now. He won RP was committed. The Jabs did get the BKB off in time, so no skewer back was there. Armel is going to jump in. Does find CML now, but the Orchid is out from Tino. And Shrunk is so real. Follow up to the finger. He's going to ensure that CML does go down. So they'll try to chase down Tino on the mag. Instead, though, Krish jumping in off the Jabs. Could be a real big problem for the side of Aurora. Savage still trying to fight this one out. Has taken down Tino. But can they do with the Mepo? It doesn't seem like it. Krish is going to be able to take down 23 Savage. Ooh, the, egg. the Egg does go down though, CML. He will die in the Phoenix. They are chasing for more here, Execration, wanting as much value as they can get. They should at least have Q and they will even find Armel now. Completely out of mana is the Storm. Armel will drop. They still do lose the tech, but they do eventually get Q. They will move away from that Roshan position. Savage, so Savage gonna get caught out. The oh, RP's there, no. Savage is gone. Aurora, they want to fight by the looks of it. Still BKB available on our belt, but the problem is Roshan is gone. Everything picked up here from Execration Zen as they'll go for the Rolling Thunder off Bob, trying to chase down Jabs. Zip forward from Armel, but he just gets caught out by the stun. Forced the BKB up. They'll still try to secure Bob's life, but Bob is just too tanky. Everyone needs to retreat out of there. Ollie's the only one to be lost for now. But Krish is still on the chase looking for another target. He's going to blink back up, looking for jabs. The 23 Savage Whoa, is going to jump Savage. in. Savage, he's got the Shadow Dance and the Depth Threat available if he does need to commit it. He probably does on jabs, but no. Jabs is all right to TP away. No defense really coming out from, uh, from Aurora. Savage trying to sneak up from the backside. Meanwhile, oh. Armel, he does get an AoE Vortex off onto Krish, but it's just not enough damage, not enough follow-up yet. Savage is still hanging around on the side. I don't know what he's quite waiting for, though. He tries to jump in, but Armel's now gone. Now he was waiting very patiently for something. I, I'm just not sure what it was. No respawn for, on Armel for a good few seconds. Did you manage to cut off the creep wave down bot though? Oh, this is all through back door, although. Has caught chaps, but the BKB was there in time, so no skewer back is available here for Tino. Still just desperately trying to, to force in this defense. No creeps available for execration, just doesn't really seem to matter anyway. Four man smoke here from Aurora. Gonna try and initiate Krish. He's gonna get jumped here from Savage, but he gets no damage off to get things started, and Krish just gets the big people run the, uh, the weak people out of there. Few gonna be jumped to the backside. Savage in the meantime trying to focus down Tino. They might at least have themselves a Magnus here and they will, but he needs to get himself out of there. Meanwhile, Krish just goes back into the Mega Mepo form, ensuring he does not drop one life yet, or he might drop at least the Aegis for now. Can they actually deal with him a second time? They'll commit some buybacks here at the side of Aurora. Trying to get that oh. secondary Meepo life, but Savage has been caught out once again. Oh, does good. go into the depth route. Finger committed as well. India goes your AoE Vortex out from Ah, uh, Mel, but it means nothing. Everyone's still alive. Oh, Savage to Savage. go down. This game is looking well and truly over. So Bob will lose his life. Aurora not calling it yet. They are still going to try. After the die back on Savage, need to wait for Tino to at least be back here. Ah, oh. uh, Mel, jump in again. He's going to find himself shanks. They are going to lose Ollie in the process, though. I think uh, Aurora just taking anything they can get. Oh. Oh, they found Q as well, by the way. Even forced to buy back on Shanks and want to clean this up. Do or die for exit. They've got to make use of this again. Hey, we will check out again. Oh, no, just locking down the Mepo, but it's not quite enough. The RP comes out. Hino will lock him down. Armel is gone. They're still playing without Savage. They're, they're trying every single opportunity they can have to take them out here on the side of Execration, but Chris is just way too big. GG is finally called. Aurora, they are unable to take this game two against Execration, which does mean that we will officially go to a third game. We are going to our game three here between Execration and, of course, Aurora to see who is proceeding through the lower bracket and who is staying home. We'll back his way out. Aurora, they are still patiently waiting in the wake as Tino now going to rush the 23 
Savage Luna. They have found him. Turns out Savage was not quite aware they were around the corner, so Savage will go down first. They do take Shanks as a trade for Q. Will be second to follow up, but Bob takes both kills with the Storm. Uh, I actually wonder if Q leaves his slain or whether he sticks around and just continues to apply the pressure as 23 Savage. It looks like he is set to go down and does against the tri lane. He does drop. They will at least find Shanks as a trade, but now Ollie's going to go down by the looks of it. He's gone. CML's going to double. I don't know if you really want to keep this up either as, uh, as a rule. And they just maintained his 3v3 up against a Viper. That, it's not a great deal. These prolonged fights are just dangerous. CML always seeing the teleportation angles as well. Yeah, Armel's gone. CML just on top of everything. Not a great sign at all here if you are an Aurora fan. This might be though. Krish does get caught out down a bottom lane, so they might be able to find themselves another Spectre kill, and Krish is indeed going to go down, so... They're, they're setting their sights properly on side of Aurora. Oh, oh. Still going for the aggressive route. Trying to find Armel another time, and they've got him. TPs are incoming, but is it even going to help? Maybe they find Bob's very fire up. Bob's going to survive! Bob is walking his way out. He is not going to drop. In fact, Ollie's the one going down here as CML. 7-0-2 on the Nature's Prophet. Will finally, surely go down. 23, he'll take the kill. A huge golden wants to go the way of the Luna now. In fact, they might even have Shanks on their hands. Shanks, they continue to try and run. Savage will land with the Lucent Beam. Shanks, though, is going to be able to outrun them just fine. But I think for Savage, it's actually very well worth TP for that kill as Shanks does go down. You'd prefer the Lunar at this stage, I think, and Savage has got no idea oh, they're coming. Shanks is going to see him. Savage already sitting so low in HP, has no chance of survival. Shadow Step pickoffs. Doesn't even try to point up, which I guess is fair. The kill was guaranteed. They're TPing in. Huh? Impressive Shadow Step in first. Indeed. Savage getting caught though, and he's just hell. Oh boy, Tino is not gonna make it. Oh, excuse me, rather Jabs will not make it either. We're at the stage where Tino's gonna have the axe up to have that available. Very annoying to play against this bottom lane. Jabs is down, and they find another. Push with a double kill now on the Spectre. Wasn't even a sizable lead for Aurora anyway. Expectations always had that little markup for themselves. Oh, 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 no, awesome. Oh, this is just a mess. Make a fight, you. It's so annoying to deal with. I mean, it's gonna be annoying for Nico, it's gonna be annoying for the Luna, so they actually jump Savage. Yeah. They certainly do. They certainly do. Savage is down. It'll make a big difference either that he's looking for. Mid lane. Vatos gonna lock down a profit, so they have found the top CML. That is just a position 5 profit within range to. Radiance are scanning Savage for a crack at that bench. The sacred Meanwhile, CML is going to go down here to Armel solo, so Armel finds himself a bit of a freebie. You start to ask the question with the, with the execration of kind of losing the control of this game now, and they are going to jump in onto 23 Savage, who has 2k lead and tries to keep it up, and he is going to make it. Meanwhile, Armel takes down Krish. Krish is gone. By Shanks. On the low ground, Armel gonna break the smoke off Bob. Bob is gonna sit right away as Tino. Himself now on the Viper, does move in on 23 Savage. Savage actually dropping extremely low. He'll get the BKB if it's off in time. RP out as well, and Savage is finally gonna go down. But not before he takes a couple with him. He'll even find Armel now. Bob also being caught in the storm. Bob trying to find a zip opportunity. He does actually get it. Bob is somehow alive. Q would have been chased here on the hood when Q is going to drop to boot. A terrible team fight for Aurora. So not the amazing point you'd want a Meepo to snowball off of. The match wants to fight now. They'll see Bob. Bushwhack is going to land. So that's a great start to the fight. But Bob is still going to be able to zip away. Shanks is actually just banner training. But it does go down to the Eclipse. Now Ollie will drop to boot. Trish just jump right in. But he's gone. Krish could not Savage? take through the initial damage, but Savage will follow him right after. Zarmel forced the Mega Meepo and just TP away. And dodging that damage, it, it just 
caused issues. If they got that instant burst off the bushwhack combo, very different fight coming out there. Not the way it folds out, CML. CML maybe just baiting for his side as now the dig is out, oh, but Armel, he's no. just trapped. Armel's oh, no. trapped. He, he wanted an easy pickoff, but he's not gonna get it. He is the easy pickoff. Anyway, then it's all for naught. Savage. The Tino. KB is out from Jabs preemptively, and sure, Tino will not mess around here, and that is a pretty big pickoff. Gonna be the one big tool they'll need to pierce high ground. But that will also line up with right around oh, when he's back off the jabs. Oh, here we go again. Armel, oh, he gets to, gets to make a meeple off in time, but it's it's not making the difference, I don't think. As he does go for the dig, he's alive. His team is going to be able to rejoin. In fact, Ollie gets to swap away on here onto Armel, though. Armel, still looking to drop down, though. Does actually walk his way uh, out. Ollie, he I'm does go mana. down. Bob is out of mana, but he gets the BKB TP away as CML is going to go down now. And Armel. He actually makes it, just barely. Literally nobody's making the jump, they're just still waiting. Armel, gonna see Tino again. Do they wanna jump again? They will. The RP's committed, they want the Viper, and they've got the Viper, he is gone. Bob, jumping in, trying to find some kind of a trade, does move on to Q, the Hoodwink is as good as dead, but now CML gonna find himself in danger, trying to run away from Armel, meanwhile Savage, he's got his BKB off, but he's surrounded completely, he's forced to eclipse up, but oh my matter. god! the finger is out from Shanks, Armel in the meantime, Mega Meepo'd up, trying to run, but he's lost his whole team, <laughs> he's just trapped, nowhere to go, he'll dig, but it is his own grave after all. That it is. Patience doesn't quite pay off. Even Jab's being threatened now by Krish solo. Just getting a shadowy step off, but that arcane rune still running. Deep wards down here from the prophet into the uh, the dire base. You love to see this. Krish seeing Ollie, seeing the free skill of his life does move in, but now Krish needs to be careful to die on his own accord, because he does not have the ages. He does go down! I suppose Tino's the real character to be absolutely fair. Tino still moving it onto the Meepo. Armel, a tanky, tanky boy, but nowhere near Gosh. enough. He's gone. The Tino, though, getting quite low, is about to lose the Aegis. Would lose the first life, though they have lost CML to boot. Tino now a bit of a sitting duck. Does get stared up here by the nets of Armel. Eventually should just die, as he does try for the nose dive out. May take Ollie with him, but... It doesn't even seem like that. They will five man smoke execration just waiting by the triangle of the dire side. Dyer. He's gonna break the smoke on the Tino. Immediate jump in and now the big horn coming up from Christian Gore. The vision for the AoE Vortex and well it's just an absolute meat grinder though. Bob may go down and does actually drop here on the storm. That is a big loss for the side of Exa. Chris trying to clean up, does take down Savage and Jabs. The buybacks are incoming once again. They're gonna try and capitalize by taking down at least CML. They will not have a chance at Tino, though the Viper is TPing up. BKB or some such to just survive through, which again is somewhat fair up against the Mac. Angles out. Scout. Well, Q seems to be the big target they want to take down first, and they've got him. Have they got him? He's still alive. Q is fine. Never mind. Ollie, the one to go down. Buyback forced out as well. We have to find a way. Tino, not mining for his team. Armel gonna try and get some damage off. Bob in the meantime gets a vortex onto the backside. They found 23 Savage. Savage though still alive with the BKB up. He'll be able to heal the Satanic. They didn't finish off the job. Savage survives and now the turnaround is out. But they are still trying for Armel. Though a nice swap away again from Oli. Gonna save the life of Armel as he jumps back in. On a CML he goes. Chris is back into the fight, trying to go after the Meepo. He does get him Ooh. eventually, but he does go down along with him. Meanwhile, Savage trying to retreat now, but it looks like he is as good as what? dead. He is down. Armel flying back into the fight. There's a buyback from Chris, though, looking to bring himself back into the fight as Tino is just going right after the Meepos. He does not care which one he hits, he just hits anyone he can. Armel trying his best to juggle the Meepos, but it seems as though he is surely. Going to die eventually, this poison damage. They're apparently not. Armel is still running. The poison is not quite enough. Ages, free eggs, free cheese available here as well. I wonder who they'll pass these resources onto. Give Krish the eggs for now. Aurora, they'll try to hunt outside. 
Tino in court. Skewer back is there. Jack to try for the big target onto the right, but Tino pops his peak. He's Damage! Through, and now the Earth Spike flying right through. It's way too much. Tino eats the cheese. He'll go again for a secondary round. They're on to the Meepo. Armel, he'll dig. He'll survive for another day, but for how much 23? longer can he possibly make through this? Meanwhile, 23 Savage is gone. It's over. Aurora! It is over, Aurora. Aurora. They are getting knocked out of the lower bracket of the close qualifiers oh, for ESO One Birmingham. It's a tough spot for them to be in. The, the favorites coming in, the team that qualified to Dreamly. It's a horrible spot to keep. And Neon, Neon drag.